so many secrets. One that, you know, sometimes a secret gets added and we don't find it till way later on, like way down the line, right? And the Brookhaven Cemetery has always been a place of interest, alongside all the weird experiments and everything that the HSC has been conducting on countless, numerous people at the even St. Luke's Hospital. It gets weird, and the mystery is always staring up something somewhere, and it just gets connected to another secret, to another mystery, and it gets a little weird, I'm not gonna lie. But today I wanted to talk about something that I happened to come across again. It could have been already in the game, it might be a new secret, I'm not sure. Maybe this secret did get added in the new update, maybe it was already here in the Halloween update, but there's still something that I noticed being changed a little bit from time to time at the Brookhaven Cemetery. So it's an interesting one, so subscribe, and hit the post notification, we're ringing the bell, make it a go ding. It's a bright Monday here in Brookhaven, so it shouldn't scare us too much. But in case, or you know what? Let me get my flashlight. Let me get my flashlight. I have that. I'm on the server. I can do this. All right. Let's let's make it a bit more spooky. Okay. So let's go ahead and put it at 3 a.m. Okay. We're gonna pause it right there at 3 a.m. We're gonna get our little handy dandy flashlight, and we're going to see how spooky the cemetery is at night and at 3 a.m. If a ghost happens to appear, I don't know. I think the 3 a.m. challenges and stuff are really insightful, interesting, because maybe at some point in time you do come across a ghost, an unexplained activity of sort paranormal perhaps or perhaps it's just like a little mice or rabbit to kind of stirring things up but the gravestones here are interesting now remember in the halloween update with the monster truck on the back of it there was a gravestone right okay so that gravestone was interesting to see but it could have been handing towards some potential changes in the actual graveyard so if we come over here we see game creator with a thumbs down this one's been here since the beginning time of brookhaven and me playing it i believe um you'll be next this probably will was here as well this is the grave that uh, this isn't the grave you can no the grave that you can fall into is the one that says let me out now now these graves are always a point of interest to me and they always have been but never have i actually started deep diving too much into the lore surrounding these graves and what they could entail and what they mean which is why i'm doing it today so this is the one where you drop down and you will see this casket here which appears to be completely decayed almost as if it's been buried down here for like ever and if you happen to click it very briefly you're going to hear a growl and it's going to repeat itself three times in total there's another one just now and it's going to do it one more time while it why it does it three times i'm not for sure maybe that's because we knocked three times that was the final one um so maybe since if you knock three times it growls three times and the gravestone says let me out now what is this growl is it a zombie i think most definitely it is and here's why the zombies in brookhaven are not called zombies they're called something totally different it's not called the undead either they're called the rotten and sometimes these zombies or these rottens are fully functional and i'm going to explain how i told you i was sick so this obviously isn't telling that brookhaven has like a dark um, story of disease where the agency pretty much wiped out all the population because of their experiments and things they were doing just to get closer to Brookhaven's like crystal energy source and understanding it right so it kind of entails that somehow a disease was a huge problem in an outbreak perhaps it was in the future I, I'm not sure and we're going to get more answers to that but it entails a lot of questions about how so many people got sick and became that known as the rotten and that's what this gravestone says i'm a rotten now this one i don't know if it's been here forever i really don't and that's why i wanted to make a video directing and just talking about it now a lot of you guys in the comments might be like nope it definitely has been there before and uh, some of you might say nope it hasn't but to me I forgot that it was here or I did not know it was here and I wanted to talk about it because it entails a lot about what we could be seeing coming soon in a new secret based update. So the rotten are obviously the term for the green people that uh, the agency has conducted the research on. And if we look back to the movie First Contact that you can play at the theaters, you will see in that movie First Contact there was something very interesting. An outbreak occurred even in the agency and a lot of individuals were turning green and actually dying. So it does happen or it does appear that the rotten, sometimes it doesn't kill people, but sometimes it does. And this guy right here probably isn't doing too good, right? Now remember, we can open this and we can activate it and electricity shoots throughout the tube, which I don't think it really does anything at the current moment, but that still is a weird feature that is available. Now last Halloween, uh, he was out of his cage in all these little spots here dripping which is in telling that 
you know some things didn't go too well with the experiment and the agency or whatever they did did the agency actually create the rotten accidentally it could be a possibility it could be a strong possibility because if you look at the walls here and you see the rustic vibe on the walls here you will notice it is the same of that in the coffin it has the same rustic vibe that looks over the coffin the aged ex um the agedness of it you can uh, really tell that it is something now you might be like okay so you said there was a functioning rotten that actually roams throughout brookhaven that could be on the loose yes if we go over here to the fugitive section and we go to the fbi we will see brookhaven's most wanted list and what do you see right there chief rotten he got admitted into the jail at one point maybe but he is definitely out there and wanted now and he is one of the more functionable rotten individuals out there that exist and i'm guessing because he is chief rotten most of the rotten are like very their minds have been polluted and they are hung hungry for trouble basically so i don't think you're gonna meet a good rotten out there so if you see any green players or characters stray away from them because they're probably working for chief rotten and somehow they're functionable so the most wanted list gives us a array of villains super villains actually that is so much questionable because where could we see hints and traces of these individuals and how and who are they and where did they spawn there's so much but Chief Rotten, we do know a little bit about at the current moment. Now, the others, we have not a clue what they are, their backstories or anything, but we can tie some pieces of the puzzle together to Chief Rotten. You will notice he's in a police outfit, which is even more interesting because the police, the agency, are the ones that get infected by the Rotten first, it appears, in the movie First Contact. Now, let's take a step back and let's look at the, the title of that movie, First Contact. First Contact with what? Obviously, an unknown disease, perhaps, that are turning people into rotten. Um, that is what I'm in pretty much thinking the movie First Contact entails and, you know, is uh, also portraying. Now, we also have the movie Alone and Afraid, I think, or, or Invasion. Uh, it's called Invasion. So there's a lot of stuff about an invasion happening, a pollution, and an illness that is having to be attacked and worked around with. And the agency just happens to fall into the middle of all this with their experiments and everything that they have done, which could entail that the agency does have some ties to some really sketchy stuff, right? So I don't know. You didn't hear it from me, but we definitely went over and talked about a lot of cool secret stuff. Let me know what you think about these theories and the story and if it makes any sense to you because it definitely is adding up a little bit to me and it's getting super, super interesting. So with that aside, we do this every single day, as you know, and uh, well, subways are now a thing that I can't believe it either. I can't disturb this reporter. I said, they're still disturbing. Anyways, see you all in the next one.